in terms of critical thinking because you know upcoming farmers are young persons that are not really advanced or not really educated on crops and rearing and so on what are the challenges have you gone through that you use as a life lesson that you would want to i guess aspire youths to know or to help them in their well, own journey you know maybe one of the it's like the person that i have that assists me here just now Maybe in my lifetime, I won't be able to convince that person. It's nearly my age. Of how to do things as a business to make money. Because they are literally set into that subsistence we are alive. Just plant enough that you can weed and take care of. <laughs> to make it bigger and make it pay for itself. And I think that's what our schools need to be teaching. From kindergarten stage. How to own, how to manage, how to operate a business. And I'm saying agriculture is no less a business. Sure. One of the things that jump out at me is young people would like to make $2 million a year salary. It's commendable. It is good. So you only pay tax on 500000 But from my experience, to earn $2 million a year, you need to be expending up front about $20 million. Mm. When you have time, look at the balance sheet of these big companies and banks in Jamaica and see the capital outlay and assets that they have and look at their bottom line, the profit at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Any of them make 10%, they'll be very happy. Mm -hmm. But we want to make 2 million, but we don't want to put out the 20 million. And I agree, it's hard. But then you need to start understanding Investing. that you would have to put them pennies together and let them add up, add up, add up. And it's when it reaches that 20 million that you can start saying, I want to earn 10% of that as mine. Okay. And if you touch the principal, you're in trouble because you can't buy back what you need to run the business come next year. Yeah. So that's an understanding. And I know the commercial banks are not ready for agriculture. Neither are they ready for tourism, <laughs> right? So it is our own government and the credit union movement that we have to depend on to bring us to that level.